Hi, and welcome to Beducation. I'm Jeff Shire, America's Beducator, and this is the Liggett & Platt Simplicity 3.0 Adjustable Bed. We'll take a look at what's on the inside and some of the features and how to assemble this. Just a few things to note, once you have the item in the house in the box like this, the H on top denotes the head section of the power foundation. So you want to make sure you have it in the proper orientation once you get it in your master bedroom. And also make sure that this side is up with the H on it. On the facing of the product, you can read, it'll say fragile handle with care. Make sure that that's right side up. So you want the top part to lift off very easily. And once we get on the inside there, you'll notice that the base is upside down. And that's the proper orientation to begin assembly of the product. So let's take a look at what's on the inside. Once you take the top off of the box, you'll see that the power foundation is upside down, which is the proper orientation to begin assembly. And there's a few things that you'll need to remove. One of them will be the mattress retaining clip, which will be zip tied to one of the bars here. And then the other is a box containing your remote control, the legs, and your owner's manual. We'll take a look at what's on the inside of this. Again, here's that mattress retaining clip that was on the inside of the box. And then here's your accessory package. On the inside of that, you'll find a few different things. First off will be your remote control, along with provided batteries, of course. This is your battery backup system right here. Two 9-volt batteries would be placed in this, and then this would be attached to the power supply of the unit. And I'll show you how that works in just a little bit, should you have a power outage. Of course, you'll have your manual. You always want to pay attention to that and hold on to this. It does have your warranty code information and the serial number for your unit. You have your registration. Then there's also a quick setup guide right here. And then the last thing that's inside, these will be your legs. And I already opened up the box right here. But there'll be four legs. It uses the same legs on all four, four corners right here. And the unique thing here, this is a height adjustable leg, so you can press in and get the leg to different heights. It's between 6 and 10 inches. And usually when I set these up, I recommend people select the middle position right here. That ends up being about the same as a metal bed frame and a regular box spring on a mattress. But the overall height obviously will be determined by your personal preference as well as the thickness of the mattress you choose. Now I'll show you how these legs are installed in the power foundation. As I mentioned previously, the Simplicity uses the same four legs at each corner point. So it doesn't matter where you start or which leg you use, they're all going to be the same ones. Adjust them obviously to the same height position. Here I've chosen the middle section. And it just screws right into the receiver at the corner of the product. You don't need any special tools to put this in. You don't want to over tighten it, but also you don't want to under tighten it. You want to make sure it's a nice, solid, secure connection. And I'll do this for all four legs on the product and then we'll take a look at everything that's on the undercarriage of this unit. Now that I have all four legs installed at all four corners and I made sure that I have the height adjusted to a similar height for each leg, it's a good time to take a look and take stock of the bottom of the power foundation unit just to make sure that everything is in place and nothing was damaged during shipment. Take a look at the head to toe side rails, take a look at the rotating arms to which the motors are attached. And just make sure that all the wires are connected to your brain right here. You can see there's the four wires that are attached to the two motors. Here's the motor that drives the foot section. And then here's the wire that goes to the motor. And this motor drives the head section up and down. This is the massage unit for the head that's attached with a wire to the brain. And then here's the massage unit for the foot section that's also attached with a wire to the brain itself. Then you have your power control and that's attached also to the brain as well. Then there are some underbed LED lights. You'll see one, two, three located right here. So be careful of those that you don't step on those or you don't crush them or rest your arms on those and you could potentially damage the LED light. In the unlikely event that you do lose power at your home and you found that your power base is in the upright position with the head and the foot elevated and you want to bring it down to the flat position, Leggett and Platt does have an option with this very simple battery backup system and I'll show you how this works. Here's your power supply attached to the brain of the base. There's a little white clip right here and you just depress this tab and you pull it away from the power unit right here. And then your battery backup system, you can see where these two products mate and it clips right into place right there. Now what you would end up doing is you'd put two 9-volt batteries into the unit right here 
This will give you enough juice to get the power base down and that'll pretty much use up everything that's in those 9 volt batteries. But at least you can get back to the flat position until the power comes back on. And then when that's all done, again we have the quick disconnect clip and then you'll put the power supply back on and you'll be ready to rock and roll once you get power back at the house. Now that we have everything assembled on the bottom of the power foundation, we've secured all four legs very tightly and we've made sure that they're all adjusted to the same height and we've familiarized ourselves with everything on the, on the base unit. We've made sure that everything looks good, nothing looks to be broken. It's time to flip it over into the proper orientation. Now a word of caution, this is a heavy and bulky item. Ideally it'd be best if two people did this. When you are flipping the item over to the upright position, do not grasp on to the head and the foot base sections. Now these are hinged and they are attached in the middle, but they're also free floating on the end. It's part of a safety gravity release mechanism that most power foundations use. So if you pick it up by that, you'll find that they'll fall away a little bit from the frame network and it'll be a little wobbly, not too secure and not a safe way to flip it over. Also, if you tip the product up on its side and lean it over, there's a potential issue where you could damage, bend, or even break the legs off onto the frame network and you could bend that. So it's not something that you want to tip up on its side and lean over because you'll create a torque on these legs. So it's best to put it on its side and pick it up and flip it over with two people. So we'll do that and then we'll come back and look at some of the features and the operation of this model. Now we have the power foundation in its proper orientation. We flipped it over. We're very careful. We didn't damage anything. And as you did this, you may have noticed that that top section is free floating. It has that gravity release system, as does the foot section. Again, that's a safety mechanism uh, popular on many power foundation bases, where if you adjust it down, it won't accidentally pinch something forcefully underneath, like a small child or a pet or anything else that you may have under, underneath there that you could potentially damage. So again, when you're moving this about within the master bedroom or if you're going to flip it over uh, for servicing or if you have to connect some cables grab onto the frame network don't grab onto the to the actual platform deck so you may have noticed these two white strips on the top right here and this is Leggett and Platt's micro hook system. This actually helps to grasp onto the bottom of your mattress and prevent it from sliding off of the, the foot of the product. And it's, in essence, half of the hook and loop fastener system. Some people commonly refer to that by the trade name of Velcro. And it really does grab into that non-skid surface of the bottom of your mattress and surprisingly prevents it from sliding off the edge. Now, if you encase your mattress in some sort of a complete encasement, a PVC plastic vinyl encasement, some sort of a a dust mite cover, uh, something with a smooth skin on it, let's say, or if you use a dust ruffle on top of your power foundation, you'll want to make sure to use the mattress retaining bracket because these micro hooks will then not be able to reach the bottom of the non-skid of your mattress and we don't want it to shoot off the end of the bed when you adjust the head section up. So the retaining bracket simply fits into the two holes right here. I like to use that anyway. It's just extra security to make sure that nothing slides off the end of the product when I'm adjusting it up and down. So now let's take a look at the Simplicity 3.0 in action and see some of the features that it has. And of course, the most important thing with a power foundation is the ability for the head and the foot to be elevated. This has two separate motors. So to elevate the head section, just press and hold the plus button and you'll see that the head section will begin to elevate. The same thing for the foot section right here, press the plus button and hold it and the foot section will begin to elevate. If you want to bring everything back down to the flat position, hit the flat button here in the upper left hand corner and hold that. And as long as I hold that, it will go back down to the flat position and it will stop when it's perfectly horizontal. Now, one unique thing, the Leggett and Platt remote control here with the Simplicity 3.0, it comes programmed the flat button and then the four pre-programmed positions right here, these are what's called press and hold. So in order to get the base to move, you have to keep the button pressed the entire time. If you'd like to convert those to press and release, so all you have to do is press the button once and it will go to the position on these four items and then the flat. What you do is you hold the flat and the plus button for three seconds simultaneously. And right there you heard the power base chirp, the massage unit's chirp. Now what happens, let's see if I elevate the head section a little bit. And if I elevate the foot section a little bit. And I want it to go flat. I don't have to press and hold this the entire time. I'll just hit the flat button once. 
and everything will go flat. And again, that's the press and release. I do like that feature on the remote control. Uh, some people like to be able to press the button down the entire time as a bit of a safety measure. That's certainly up to them. Now there is a lock button right here. If you press and hold this for three seconds, that will lock the remote out. And again, that's a safety feature. Underneath the power foundation, there's a, a set of three LED light strips. If you press that, you may see it light up underneath there. It's hard to in the bright showroom here. But trust me, when you press that in the dark bedroom at nighttime, it really does light your way around the master bedroom. Again, I did mention there are four uh, pre-programmed positions right here. Now these two are set at the factory. The snore position, if you press that and release it because we've converted the, the, the remote control to a press and release, it will elevate the head section to about a seven degree angle. It'll keep it there for 15 minutes, at which point it will go back to the flat position automatically. We're not gonna wait 15 minutes. I'll just hit the flat button right now and it'll go back to the flat position. Now, the other position that's set at the factory is the zero gravity. Zero gravity is just the layman's term for what we call semi-fowler position, where the head section is elevated between 30 and 45 degrees, and then the foot section is elevated a little bit. And you can press that and it will go to that position. Now also, you may program in two of your favorite positions into the memory one and the memory two feature. All you would do is Elevate the head section, let's say, to a certain inclination that you enjoy right there. Maybe you're a side sleeper, you like a little bit of a head inclination, and then maybe you like a little bit of a foot inclination right here. And then if I wanted that to be, let's say, my memory one position, I would just press the set button and the memory one position together simultaneously, hold it for three seconds, and the power foundations will chirp, which it just did there. And now that's my memory one position. Whenever I press that, it's going to go to that position for me. And we can do the same thing with memory two, set a special position. And you can also override the factory default for the snore and the zero gravity position using the set button as well. A lot of people don't realize that you can do that. I'm gonna put everything to the flat position again right there. Now, this unit also comes with two massage units, one under the head section and one under the foot section. So you just press the plus button and the massage unit kicks in. There's three different speeds, so each time you press it up, it's going to ramp up. The same thing for the foot section, there's three different speeds there. And then to get it to ramp down, just press the negative until it turns off. There's also a wave feature, and you can press that, and it will give you a sensation that the massage is moving from the foot to the head and back, and then there's different speeds that that will move back and forth, and how you negotiate that is just by pressing the wave button, cycling through that, as many times as you want to and then eventually you get to the last position and you hit it again and then the wave uh, cycling function will stop. The last thing I wanted to show you was the complete range of motion of the Simplicity 3.0 and right here I have the head and the foot at their maximum levels of elevation so you can see this will fold you up like a pretzel if you want to. You place a mattress on top of this and if you're reading in bed you'll be almost vertical right there. So to get everything to the flat position, again, we just hit the flat button once because we've reprogrammed the remote to be uh, one touch and let go, and everything will go flat. Now, all the things I told you about programming the remote control, that's all in your manual as well. Very simply explained right here, even the procedure to take it from the press and hold to the one touch. Now, if you do get a split king, two twin extra longs, and you have a solid king mattress on top, it does tell you how to program one remote to operate two bases. Even two remotes to operate one base, that's all explained pretty fully here in the manual. Now another thing you might want to take a look at is in the back of the manual right here. Troubleshooting, if you have any initial issues, sometimes it's something that's really simple. Take a look at the troubleshooting guide before you call the toll-free number. And then there are a few extra accessories that you can order if you want to. There are different length legs. But remember, this power foundation, if you remember from the first part of the video, it does have the height adjustable legs, five different segments of height right there. Now the last thing I'd like to mention is the warranty. Power foundation warranties are convoluted. They can be confusing, but let me give you the Cliff Notes version on this one. So we have a one year, three year, and a 25 year limited warranty. But here's what it means in a nutshell. For the first year, you have a full warranty. Parts and labor, electronics, everything is covered. Now years two and three, if you did have an issue, let's say the massage motor went bad. Well, they'll send you the new part, but as far as the labor goes, you'd have to pay for somebody to install that. But Here's the good news. These power bases, and if you remember again from the earlier part of the video, 
they're very simple. They're plug and play. The massage units just bolt on with a few bolts. The motors just attach with a few bolts. Even the brain unit underneath is just a few bolts and then the wires clip right into it. Very easily oriented underneath and it's very easy to see where everything goes. So not a problem if you did have to replace something. And you know what? All the major power foundation brands put out a pretty good product. So chances are if you did get something that was uh, wrong with the product, it'll tend to show up earlier in the use of the, of the adjustable bed, but that's, that's really not too common. And then years four through 25, this is covering the frame network of the power foundation, all the metal that's around the perimeter underneath, not the electronics underneath. So, and that's a prorated warranty, like a set of car tires. So if something went wrong after, you know, seven years, you have part of the warranty left, but part of the warranty is used up. You know, 7 25ths of the warranty is used up. It, again, it's a very heavy duty frame network, so not too many issues tend to arise from the frame breaking on this product. And that's the video of the Leggett and Platt Simplicity 3.0 Power Foundation Unit.